Oh, I wanted to play 60 Seconds again. I don't know where the music went. It's just gone. But I wanted to play it again. So I'm going to just hit Survival and then hit uh, Fat Man. Here we go. Survival. I just wanted to play it again. It sounded sounded nice. It's very quiet. There we go. Let's see what have we got. Day one. Ah, Mary Jane's dead. And I have unlocked some things, like uh, I got them their little little hats to wear. Um, alright. Almost all of us made it out of the shelter. Almost. Almost. All we can do now is start thinking of creative ways to start, serve our canned soup. Ba 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 ba, been busy. Great. That's awesome, man. Day two. I'm radioactive. Uh, we can make it work, even in Toronto. Nice. Nope. Okay, this is going great so far. Nothing has happened. We can barely breathe in this dang shelter. For the last couple of hours, the situation has been getting noticeably worse. There might be something wrong with the ventilation system. Maybe it's stuck? Uh, if that's the case, we need to look into fixing it right away. Alright, then do that. Oh, rat! Little rat man! Yes, little rat. The obvious thing to do when a vent is blocked is check what's blocking it. However, when you shine your flashlight on a hive of mutated insects, things usually go from bad to worse. The angry hive is gone, but the insects did, did some biting before they fled. Oh, Timmy. God dang it. Alright, so don't shine the flashlight. Oh, I can't do anything. A dancing cockroach? Yeah, let him be. Well, let the dancing cockroach be. He's just schmoovin' and groovin'. He's chill. Oh, never mind. He brought for he brought an audience. Oh my, that thing is huge. And there's another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We already feel dirty. Oh. Neighborhood is still highly radioactive. I. They could have sworn that a huge puddle of water wasn't there earlier. There goes another one. And oh dang it! We're getting flooded. Grab something and save it. All right, we're gonna keep the radio. Radio is the best one. Whoever saves cards there out of the three items is an idiot. Yeah, I want the cards. The map is useless. The, the the radio never heard of it. We stumble upon a weird signal while changing the radio frequencies. We're pretty sure that behind layers of static and screams we could hear a voice. A voice speaking in a foreign language. Oh dear, what if it's the Soviets? <laughs> we should probably listen to it, but what about the children? Screw the children, man. Screw Timmy. Timmy can go do a backflip off a microwave for all I care. We were relieved at first when we figure out it wasn't Soviets we heard. Turned out it was Canadians, which isn't much better. Either way, they're foreigners that we couldn't understand what they were saying. Not a word. How disappointing. Okay, well that was useless. Ah, oh, the roaches. Oh, <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna. They're gonna start their own civilization in here. Living with roaches can't be too bad, right? Even if they're stealing your pillows, socks, and wallets. Why would s roaches even need wallets? And the smell is horrible. Well... Uh, contamination is still strong. Not gonna touch it. 
Ring, ring. There we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again, when suddenly a phone starts ringing somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street. Someone should go answer it. But Timmy, go, Timmy, go, go, Timmy, go, 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 Timmy, go, 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 go. How did you get your leg broken? I'm just agony, <laughs> agony. Mm. Sorry, Timmy. Boo, 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 boo. Our favorite radio station seems to stop broadcasting. When we tried to other frequencies, we found nothing but static. Are, are all the stations gone? Maybe we should tinker with our radio to increase its range. Alright, yeah, sure. I can only see this going bad, but why not? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that broke it, yep. I don't know why I let them do that. Yeah. Yeah, no, why Why would I let them do that? There's not a souped-up radio thing you can get. <sighs> of course. Of course. Oh, bye, Timmy. Bye, Timmy. Hey, Dolores. It's alone time. <laughs> Learned a valuable lesson recently. If you don't do anything about roaches in your home, you'll end up with more roaches. Oh, yeah, is this the same thing, you know, where they're gonna steal my wallet? This is going awful. Ah, uh, yep. Although they're a bit glowy, we're pretty sure they spread diseases. And no means of fighting those dang things. Best get used to the situation. Better the roaches than bandits or commies. Oh, great. Ugh! Why did I get no supplies? Call us weird, but we think those roaches are trying to communicate with us. Is it possible they're they're on their own intellectual? Is it possible they are now our intellectual and uh, into that word equals? <laughs> Maybe we could turn them into a cheap labor force. <sighs> Once a capitalist, always a capitalist. Okay, how about we chill with that idea, Ted? How about we chill with the the roach slavery. Yeah, you scared one off. <laughs> that one that one was Johnny. You just scared off Johnny. Now we only have um Grunk here. Talking to the products of our imagination is one thing, but talking to roaches? Come on, we're better than that, aren't we? Well also we can't do anything. <laughs> Hey Dolores, hey, I'm gonna poke out one of your eyes. Hey. Dear God. That the ammo. That the flashlight. But you didn't know that. Uh, memories are now. We need to keep our heads clear, get a grip on reality ahead of us. Uh huh. Snap back to reality. I'm gonna die. Oh, the radio. We love the radio. It's our favorite thing. I did that. Sorry. My favorite thing is always the radio. Did you use the thing as a napkin? Why is there orange? Say ignorance is bliss. Uh, oh my god. Let me do something. Okay, hold on. What supplies do I even have? I have a gas mask, one of the best items. I have a flashlight, another really good item. Ammunition, that's fine. Padlock, that's good for intruders. 
that is all I have. I have no other supplies. Ugh. Alright, well. That's good. It's great. <sighs> Dolores, we're not gonna make it. Oh my god, the way Dio! Let's use the way Dio! When we don't have a way Dio! Ted needs water to survive. Well, he can go shove it. Young woman dressed in white. Alright, honey, go get the door. I, rem I remember you murdering me last time. Don't make me think that I'm not holding a grudge. I'm holding a very massive grudge. Oh, one water. Oh, hey, let's see here. I don't need water. This is good for like 20 days. Like, I, I, I'm good. I need supplies right now. Ammunition isn't much, though. One water isn't much either. I'm gonna keep what I can. Ba 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 ba. Eat, eat. <sighs> I'm going to lose it. Spiders! Spiders also! <laughs> the only resources I have here are useless items and bugs. I, I have like a, an insect nest over there. I have rats. I have roaches. I have spiders. I <laughs> got. This is the Weevil Underwood challenge. What is this garbage? I ain't Weevil Underwood from no Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, we had some spare ammunition, but now it's gone. Oh, well, use the flashlight. Just do something, anything. Love of God. I did select the flashlight, right? Wait, I already had ammunition. Duh, I don't have two ammunitions. Ah, found some cards. I had cards, but they got destroyed in the flood. Uh, today we've seen people dressed in what look like Halloween doctor outfits. So... I know that there is one event where if you don't help people, then they will completely ransack every item from your storage, but I really need water right now. So, I'm going to risk it. Yeah, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. It, it's not like we had anything in the first place, so... Alright. Uh, life in the shelter can really put a strain on personal relationships. Privacy is forgotten, impossible concept. Ten Dolores could use a quiet moment in peace. You know, because they're, they're constantly in front of their two children. They have no alone time. And by children, I mean uh, Grunk the Cockroach. You know? Yeah, sure. Go have a picnic, you two. Go, like, smooch or something. I don't care. Heck yeah. They just smooched real hard. Uh, it seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe. Maybe not. Maybe we'll go out. Uh, actually, it would be pretty good to perform an expedition, seeing I can't do anything else. And I really need to get supplies now. So I can feed people now. There. Okay, Dolores. You got a few days, and then I'm dead. Because we got no soup. We are going on a water-only diet now. Alright. I wouldn't have even said yes if I could. 
the, I'm I'm not I'm not talking to the sleazy traitor. Oh, grandparents always told us make sure you cover your holes when grandpa comes near. Uh, every new smell attacks our noses in this little shelter. Instantly, there isn't much we can miss. So when the brick fell out from the wall, revealing a tight opening, our senses immediately invaded by its terrible stench. Uh, we should probably check that hole out, see what the source of smell is. I swear to God, if Ted gets sick from this, I'm going to punch myself. Okay, good. He's not sick. He's just very dirty and t and crusty. <gasps> food! I found it a fooded. God! Goodbye, twins. I didn't want the twin ending anyway. I just wanted to go until I could die. Which is soon. Bye, twins. Ooh! We were admiring the radioactive landscape when we saw a young woman dressed in ragged camel clothing. She had a nasty looking rifle, but she halted us in a polite manner. Hailed. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, she claims to be a hunter tracking a big mutate spider. Spider Man. Spider Man. Overall, he's gonna get shot. Take my dynamite. I don't care. I'm hungry. My wife's dead. So this is what it's come down to. Sitting idly in the shelter with very few supplies and a growing sense of impending doom. God, there is no other more fitting sense in this game. If only there was something we could do about it. Like breaking into our neighbor's shelter. Ah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, free supplies. Heck yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that 360-no-scope sound was. I got a harmonica. Cool. That's not food. Oh, let's use the radio. Come on, guys. Let's use the radio. I love the radio. The other day we heard a quiet knock on our door, but when we opened it, we found a suitcase and no one was around. It's signed. Meant for us. Should we check what's inside? At this point, sure, man. We need everything. Dolores, are you home? Oh, hi. Oh, oh. <laughs> what happened? Instant looking bottle of water, we took a sip and it was a lie. It was a radiator or something. Great. Did get food and water though. Dolores would love to eat something. Okay, man, fine. I'll do it just so that I can even off the rations. Oh. Shut up. I don't care about your sleeping problems. Choke. Oh my god, Ted just lost it. Fatigued, hungry, sick, de dehydration, tired, crazy. Oh god. Viking. <laughs> Dolores needs more rest. Oh, well, you can go shove it. We played a game of list of things you hate the most, and our neighbors kept coming up for some reason. Yeah, that we just stole a harmonica from. That reminded us a little weasel had safe in his living room. Oh, great. Hey, Dolores. <laughs> go. I don't want you here. Oh, God. They're Hulk. Oh, bug spray. Worth it. Okay, it's food time. Dolores does need to eat. You're gonna eat every third and eighth day, and Ted is gonna eat every five and zero day. Something's missy. Something's missing. Let's see. Uh, Dolores hasn't smoked for a while now. Hellish yells outside. Check. Oh, great. That's it. And it's really strange. Talking to her would be a good idea. Yes, Ted. Be, be a good husband before you die. <laughs> well, 
What new ailment did you get? No, he actually lost ailments. He still looks like trash. Mmm. Ah, there it goes again. Noises, weird noises all the time. They're coming from the pipes, walls, and something behind the door. We don't know what's driving us insane. We should sit down and relax, otherwise we might get paranoid. Brother, you're already insane! It can't get worse! Let's play cards, you sick puppies. Ah, oh, the radio! I love the radio! The radio is truly the best item in the video game. The radio is my favorite. Oh, dead people. Hello? Can I click button? There we go. It was not letting me. There you go, it's Dolores Day. When emptying our bucket in front of the shelter. <laughs> the bucket. Oh god, poop bucket. We discovered a hazily drawn map on one of the ruined walls. Someone drew out a root and marked a spot at the end of it. Maybe there's supplies in there. Should we check it out? Ted, go. You're already crazy. That's better than Dolores. Or worse. Okay, what do you find? A map. It, it, it was a map to a map. Oh, it's funny. One of our cupboards in the shelter is a bit shaky. We pulled it uh <laughs> So we pulled it out to give it a new home. In the process, we discovered a secret door. Where does it lead? No idea. Let's find out. Okay, yeah, let's. Probably food. Probably food. Alright. It's a Ted day. And found nothing. Well, that was a waste of time. That's great. I'm so happy. Oh, I, and it makes me even happier whenever they want to use the radio and they just can't use the radio. And <sighs> Ted is fatigued. I'm, I'm, I'm going to lose it, man. There's nothing here. Maybe we tried really hard. We can hear the neighbors <laughs> get it. This is... This is not a funny joke. It's not a funny joke game. You can't just write on one page in all lowercase, get it, and then a cat picture. Ugh. We used to make sure supplies last time we went on a supply run. We noticed a damaged tank stuck in the rubble nearby. How about we send someone to investigate? Yup, Ted, go. Ted's gonna die. Ted's gonna die. Ted's gonna die. He's too fatigued. I keep making him do things. Uh, tank is badly damaged on the outside, but we found a working radio on the inside. Make contact with the military. Oh, did you take the radio home? No. <laughs> You're stupid. They are willing to lend us a hand, but we need to have an operational radio ready. <laughs> Couldn't you, like, MacGyver the radio in the tank and, like, get it out and, like, bring it into your shelter? You'd have to, like, be good at mechanics, but, like, Ted is good with his car. Come on. We took some time examining our map and found it had some abnormal symbols. <laughs> scribbled on a few places. Oh, you mean the map that we got from the side of a wall? A map that leads to a map? What, what's those symbols? More maps? <laughs> it appears as 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 as, as uh, 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 uh. Should we summon to? Yeah, uh, okay. Go, Dolores, because I'm concerned for Ted's well-being. Oh, it was... Okay, it was a chessboard. Let me guess, there's a map on the back of the chessboard. <laughs> it's a map of maps. Uh, one thing you don't expect is a band of people all dressed in green showing up at your doorstep. Jacksepticeye? 
and claiming the take from the rich and give to the poor. I'm pretty poor. Will they give stuff to me? <laughs> or will they take everything from me? They're gonna take everything from me. Yep. That's awesome. Apparently I was rich. I don't know what rich means in this game because this is not rich. Today was an exciting day for Ted. All of a sudden, he found car keys in his back pocket. <sighs> no. You are not going outside for a stupid car, Ted. You are not going outside for a car that won't get us anywhere. And I'm sorry. What happened? Did Ted just use the map as toilet paper? Oh, god dang it. Yep, that's the stain from earlier. Alright, you guys were already using it as toilet paper from before. <laughs> Ted, take your stupid rations. Oh, Ted. Ted. <laughs> Stop pooping. Everywhere! Please! 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 Oh, traitor. At this point, I just want to see what happens. We got an extra soup can. It was a cat. It was a stupid cat. It was the stupid god dang... Hi, Sherikov. Hi. I'm a cat person. Hi, Sherikov. I still don't like you. I like Sherikov. Dolores is looking better. Somehow. And that's the last of all our supplies. Alright. Boop, scooby doop, doop. We are dead. Can't do anything. And I'm gonna die. I can't wait to just watch Ted collapse. Oh! You finally came to your senses! Well, that's great! You're going to perish tomorrow. You have 24 hours of sanity. Ugh, just make an expedition so that Ted can, like, loophole this stuff. Because I'm, I'm thinking that I can send Ted on an expedition and then he can die outside so that I don't need to, like, see his corpse. Or maybe he'll have a chance of coming back, even though he's starving. <sighs> I need to, sadly. Get your water. You're going outside. There you go. Go outside. Die like a rabid animal. There you go. Have fun with your water bottle, loser. Sherkov can sure take care of itself, but it can't help but wonder how much of a self-made cat it is. It just so happens we found an address on its collar. It's unlikely that the owners are still alive to the wasteland. Should we go outside and check that address? Heck nah. Because they just take Sherkov. Sherkov ends up coming back. I don't want to go outside. Sherkov is chill where he is. The cat belongs to us now. Heck yeah. My cat. Oh my god, bandits. God! We're really fighting bandits now! Of all times, now is when we have to fight bandits. Alright, well, here's your water, Dolores. Our supplies are scarce and morale is low. You can almost smell the desperation in the shelter. We're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folk from the entire helm. Oh, yeah, steal from them. Steal from them immediately. Yeah, knock, 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 knock. Knock, 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 knock. Found a gas mask. Great. Dolores is going to chug water. 
Our sorry excuse for a dinner was interrupted by, yeah, interrupted by a raspy voice coming from outside saying, Wanna buy a rock? Yes, I do want a rock. Uh, this is a nice rock. Alright. Last day of chugging water. Sometimes a sudden urge to play an instrument takes over us. Uh, Post-apocalyptic Snow White. Alright. I don't know how you're gonna recreate a play when it's just you. Oh my god, did Ted come back? Oh my god, dude. How are you alive? He came back with soup and water. They can eat. Oh my god, we have five more days. It's <laughs> still not good. <laughs> We've been hearing some soft scratchy noises. Uh, it's the cat. It's not really doing anything naughty. It just likes to squeeze through some holes in the wall and makes its way outside. We're not sure what it's doing in the secret trips, but every morning it's back to the shelter. It's like it's nothing happened. Should we follow it the next time it sneaks out? Yeah, sure. Follow Sherikov. <laughs> I like Sherikov. Oh, Sherikov's gone. Alright. It, it's gone. The scientist didn't seem completely sane. He mentioned something about escaping the wasteland in the spaceship. Ah, uh, parsecs. Bum, 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 bum. Today we were visited by a strange looking little man who introduced himself as a traitor little man. He's a little man. Is he just a little guy? He's just a tiny little woop 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 Good to you. Ah, God. Despite everything, yeah, yep, yep, yuck, 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 Yeah, make the roaches dance or something. Oh, roaches are gone. That actually worked. I got the achievement Disco Roach. Make them dance. If you can't beat them, oh, if you can't beat them, join them. We figured the roaches were craving more of our music, so we fulfilled their unspoken request. They started joyfully prancing around, creating fun shapes on the floor, and then all of a sudden they left in one line. We thought the show was over, but they soon came back in a group, carrying supplies on their strong mutated backs. Insane. It looks like we've made some new friends. Disgusting mutated radioactive friends. <laughs> we're going to survive. <laughs> for a little bit. Uh, we were about to go to sleep when we heard someone knocking on the door. Who could be? Who could it be at this hour? Who could be in this part of the wasteland? Should we open it up? Yes, we should. I bet it's going to be Sherikov. Yeah, it's Sherikov. Where's my stinky? There he is. bloody handprint. Uh, we open the hatch. No one's there, dang pranksters. Uh, no, that wasn't nobody. That was Sherikov. I think they have one more day, right? One more day until I feed them. Who ate the soup? Again, I do not care. I don't care who ate the soup. Sherikov. There you go. Your rations. Curiosity killed the cat. Sherikov found a tiny wire sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Plaster and debris fell onto our table, topped off with a big meowing furball. What is this thing anyway? Nobody remembers it being there. The cat might get angry and if we take take away the wire, so maybe it's best to leave it be, or should we examine that wire? Nah, leave it be. Leave it be. Oh. Now how'd that happen? 
Dora's sickness. Uh, okay, yep. I should not have fed her. Um. Uh, open the name of freedom. I like freedom. I really like freedom. Freedom's cool. I'm a, oh, I'm American. I like freedom. <laughs> a gun. We finally got a gun. Now this is America. All right, Ted. Go, go, my sweet summer child. Day 70. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> he never came back. Ted left for the surface. Well, he'll be back soon. He never did. <laughs> he never, he never came back. Wolverines. I got a gun and then Ted ran away. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no, that sucked. That was probably the worst game I've ever played. However, I did did get an achievement that definitely was worth it. Because that achievement looked amazing. It's just a cockroach, I think, with a top hat. <laughs> and kicking its legs out with, like, a rainbow background. Hold on, can I show it? Uh... There it is. There he is. <laughs> Alright, so that's gonna be it. Um, I'm, uh... Weevil Underwood would not survive a zombie apocalypse or a nuclear warhead or literally any- Like, Weevil Underwood's just screwed.